No, oh, there we go. Okay. I see YouTube is online. Well, what about Twitch? Waiting on Twitch. There it goes. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I think I've got it all figured out. I don't know what happened, but that was rather weird. But I think I've got it fixed now. I have green lights on both areas. There we go. I see it. Sorry about that. Now I need a new link. Alrighty. I'm going to send out one more tweet really quickly. Tweeter. If you don't follow me on socials, I do have a Twitter. I do have a um, an Instagram. I don't have a Facebook page. Um, generally, when I post stuff through Facebook, it's it's different account. I haven't made one for uh, for me. I feel like I'm too small for having a whole Facebook group or anything like that or um, Discord. I don't have one of those either. I just have. So what's happening? Had a stream blip. And YouTube wasn't working back. Let's see. Hashtag live stream. And hashtag planet zoo. YouTube link is now that. We'll add a little picture. Let's see. Bloop. Open tweet. Alrighty, now that I've got all that sorted out, what were we uh, doing? I was thinking about this here, and I need to build some little fronts for my thing. Now, let me get all my screens back the way they're supposed to be, so I can see what's going on. Alrighty, all settled again. So sorry about that. Okay. Google Earth, I lost you. There we go. How on earth did you get the <coughs> images you need on the game while you're building? Um, I have two monitors, so what you see is actually not my uh, my monitor setup. So um, <clears throat> I have a program that's uh, streaming to you guys my game, my head. Hello. And so it uses all those inputs, um, and then there's a way to set up that you can see my browser. So my actual view that I have of my computer is a full screen game, Carlisle, welcome. And um, on my right side monitor, which is why I'm looking to the right, I have where I can see your guys' chat, and then I cover um, the streaming program on the other side with Google Earth, which is what you see in the top right corner is my Google Earth from the internet. I hope that answers your question, and welcome to my stream on YouTube, Carlisle. Um, but yeah, I have two monitors, and um, on my other computer, though, I have to alt-tab. So I'll alt-tab to look at Google Earth, which is kind of frustrating, because it's a laptop. I don't hook it up to other monitors. I've been tempted, but I don't think it has uh, three outputs, but it can't run Planet Zoo as well as my desktop. Um, so I hope that that was what you were asking, and that I answered your question effectively. All right, so I'm trying to sort out the sizing here. Unfortunately, I don't have, they don't give me TV screen squares that are the same. Um, well, they do, but they're too long for what I want to do. So I'm going to cover up these little edges. We're gonna, just going to get close. It is a recreation. So in game, a lot of times getting close is all we can do. So I'm going to run uh, some green up the side here. So I think I'm going to grab, uh, what size plaster do I have? Big plaster. This is one meter by some, not what I want. So let's go in the construction menu, turn off all the blueprints because I'm not using any right now. And I want plaster. I'm going to go down here. Let's look at my plaster options. I forgot we have these new ones. How thick is this? That's pretty thick. 
but I can hide it in the wall. So let's spin it around. <coughs> How wide is it? Is what I also want to know. It's not that wide, but it's it's super thick. All right, that TV would need to come back some. All right, right there. Scoot this over to about right here. And it stops right at the, we're gonna probably cover up that little thing that's there. And on this side, it actually has a little bit something different going on. So what I need is for this to be more over here. Kind of like this. And I wonder if it will fit. Oh yeah, it will. Okay, right there. That looks good. I'm going to turn that green. Green. I need green. Here's my green I've been using. Apply. Alright, and then I need a smaller. Is this, so this is going to be the same width. How thick is this? Oh, that's a wall vent, and it's on the grid. No, I don't want that. Uh, it's round. I feel like I'm. There's another one somewhere. Where is it? Uh, is this it? Trim. So it's thinner, but I don't have other. Hmm. I may have to use. Let's go over here from previous build. I'm gonna grab some of these guys. Let's go in here. I'm going to grab them from this side. Uh, let's see. Can I grab them? I can. I want this and I want this. And I'm going to duplicate it. And we're going to come back over here. Alright, we're going to set that down. Uh, metal beam small. Metal beam. So I'm using these. That's one, that's two. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Copy this one. Actually, yeah, that's fine. We'll go with that. I'm going to hit X, but I'm going to change it to... Oh, actually, I may want the thicker one here. I'll go with the two meter one that's thicker. that tucked in here. Let's bring it forward and I'm going to adjust that TV. Okay, it's coming through the TV. I don't want it to do that. And I do, however, want it to peek out some. Like that. I can use the longer one, I guess. Well, I want it to end. Let's scoot it up. Let's see. I want it to end right about here. All right. So let's move this TV back a little bit. It's, it's starting right, right there about as back as it can go before what's behind it. I can always move that though. Let's try there. Because this, I'm going to need, this may have to scoot back. We'll find out. Alright. So let's duplicate this over. Like that. And then, yeah, I'm going to have to scoot this back. or over. Let's see. It just needs to be a little bit behind it. I'll try that for now. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to scoot this over some more. Because what I really want is for it to just peek out off the edge. Like that. And then we're going to go this way. And then even though I, I can see that it's a uh, little different widths. My widths are just going to be different to fit with the game pieces I have. Oh, hold on. 
I don't want that. Highlight that, Control X, but I want a short one. And then I want it to be this direction. Let's see if this is thick enough to cover what I want. Line it up with everybody else. Bring it in. Still it needs to come up just a little more. Oh, it's not quite flush this way, so let's pop it out. Here we go. I'll give it where's the end? Right there. There we go. Okay. That works. And then um I can use the longer piece here. I'm gonna change it to the four meter to go across the top. Get up there where I can see. So that one right there is a little too short. That's kind of frustrating. I'm gonna have to connect that. Oh, it does connect though. If I just come this way just a little. All right. And then what I can do is grab this, and we're gonna go ahead and. Oh, uh, but it. it doesn't peek out the way I want it to. Hmm. I guess I could push it to where it, it's hiding behind that one and I don't have that square. Right, let's go like that. And then let's see what it looks like if I get it behind that plaster. Nope. 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 Yep, yeah, there we go. Right there. And then copy this one. And it stops in line with these pink ones. Let me get down there so I can see. So right about right about there should be good. So there's that side of it. And now what I want is this one, this one this one, this one, and that one, and let's see if it will give me nice arrows. It is. Thank you. I appreciate that game. And we'll just bring these right over here. Oh, it's going into the wall so you can't see it. Oh, and it's also sliding backwards. No, I don't want that to happen. <clears throat> it is not giving me it's not staying, so we'll just have to recreate it over here. There we go. Let's put that down. Copy this one. So it does have some green in between, so I don't need this one to be as far out. Maybe. I'm not going to worry about the green in between. No, nope. I'm not going to worry about it. That's going to be too complicated. that there and then on this one I just want it to peek out just a little not there and I'm gonna grab this Put that there all right so I've got that and then let's see Their windows are closed on that side. I'm gonna hit play so it at least it opens up the shop. Maybe it doesn't have power, is that why it's not open? Let's see. Heat map, H for heat map. Let's look at power and it is not powered. <coughs> what is, oh, are there lights or something in that? What is in there that would need to be powered? That's interesting. Huh. Okay, so I need a power source over here. So, where to hide it? I guess I could stick it in this corner over here. Facilities, utilities, transformer. I don't want it part of whatever group it thinks it needs to be in. I want to add it to this group. Set it down right there. 
exit and then for right now I'm gonna put in uh, actually I'll go ahead and do that well we'll do this so they if guests for some reason come in here they can't go that way path Select grid, and we'll connect in right there. Play, there it goes. Okay, cool. Now I can see the shop a little better. Alrighty. Clear my phone stuff real quick. Um, check one thing real quickly. Go away. Go away. Okay, got it. All right. Okay, let's. Let's get rid of all the stuff back there. I don't want to highlight it. And back to what I was doing. We're over here. I'm going to finish this side first. I'm not putting a shop over here. This is the only one that's going to have a shop. All right. So, I want, I want this piece right here. No, not window. Control D. Okay. So these go in one meter. I don't know. Why are you so awkward? Okay, that works. Like that. Like that. So I'm not really going to fully be able to. So we're going to put... No, excuse me. Let me come in here and, and have a peek. I'm wondering if I should use the thicker one so it'll actually connect. One meter. Oh, why'd you turn blue? I don't want you to be blue. I want you to be this funky pink color. Excuse me. There we go, like that. And then I want this up some. Oops, ah, bad camera control, sorry. some glass to go in here. Glass, 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 glass. Alrighty. Alrighty, looking for glass. Let's see. I guess I could just do the two by. That's four by two. This is two by one. Alright, right there. No, it's too high though. I don't want it like that. I'm gonna rotate it and then we'll just put bars around it, make it look like it's different styles of glass. Uh, I need it to come down right here. <coughs> there we go. And then, so let's grab this one again. get the longer one maybe. Nope, this may be just the right height. Okay. 
I guess I could have just used a long one there too, but oh well. These works. I may change this out for a long one so it doesn't separate in the middle. Well, I guess I can scoot them together. How high can I go? Like right here? I'm going to set that down for placement. I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to hit X on this one. And we're going to turn that one into a bigger one. Metal beam. Uh, let's see if two meters is long enough. It is. Put that there. Okay. Now, for this little section, I'm going to copy a piece of glass. And we're going to bring it up here like so then I want plaster on the same size what is this two by one I think it's two by one so I want kind of more of a taupe color that works There we go. And I'm going to set that behind the glass. There it goes. I'm going to give it a little bit of space. And then I want... Oh, let's see. That's not going to work. That's going to be way too big. Alright, let's get... Let's look around for some... Actually, mm -mm -mm. let me go back into plaster. I wonder if that one trim will work. Not that one. Where's the other one? This one. But why do you have to be so long, dude? Seriously? I, I know why, but... Okay, right there's fine. Come over here, though. Hide behind everything. I'm going to change the color while I can see it to kind of a mustard color. Apply. I want a green arrow, please. All right, right there. Looks kind of good. Let's bring it up a little. Is it in the glass, though? I think it's in front of it. Let's get it just behind the glass. There we go. And we're going to bring it up a little bit more. Right there looks good. And then we're going to do another one up here. like that and then I may be regretting my glass I may need to move it I wonder if I can just do this with actual uh, letters what are the smallest ones I don't want that font though I'm gonna do what about these no that will be way too big all right let's try the little funky ones And that will still be way too big. Okay, that was a nice thought. So I'm gonna go into here, editable. Hey Beef, welcome, how are you? Editable signs, all right. So I just want one that's not really gonna show through. I know this one, I think it lights up at night. I'm gonna give it a go. That looks like it's got about the right size. Let's see if I can get this to work. I'm going to go ahead and put it down. All right, I'm going to put rentals in here. No, excuse you. Rentals, there it goes, except I want the text body to be black. I don't really care for that font, so let's see. No. No. Oregano. Cute, but no. That's very Ren Fairy. Pi or Piratey. Pirata, is that what they're going for? Uh, uh, I've already looked at that one. Okay, racing. I'll keep that one in mind. That one's okay. I don't like that. 
I think the reason I don't like it is they're both the same color. So I'm going to put this at like gray. Since I have to have two colors. Uh, uh, Noto Sands is what it was on. That looks better though with the edge. What if I just make the edge even lighter? All right, we'll go with that. That works. Okay, so now what I want to do is take this, slowly move it, paha, right there. I'm going to go in here and look. Is that still showing my sign? It, it's still showing my sign, so I need it to go back a little further. I just want the text to show. So keep going. Oh. Text, oh, right, ha, right there, plop, and there we go. And then I'll, I'll make some stuff for this later. I don't have anything pre-made. Now what I want to know is, all right, so some of this is not all in the same group, I don't think. It's not. All right, so I'm going to split stuff out. These are all together in a group. What group are you guys in? Well, no, why won't you? Okay, y'all are in that group. I don't want that. Let's go in here. There we go. We'll get those out of that group. Okay, those are together. I can just delete that. I don't need that. But does that have everything? That's what I want. No, it doesn't have these. Okay. Merge. Let's go in here. Let's go ahead and get rid of these because I don't need them anymore. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these because I'm going to try just duplicating this over. Escape. Escape. Let's see if it grabs everything. If something gets left behind, then I'll... Where's my... Where's my arrow? What else are we attached to? Oh, uh, we're attached to some stuff over there, I think. Yeah, we are. Darn it. So. Because I grabbed those from this group. That is why. Split. Let's go back over here. Control X. Okay, my arrows are where I want them to be. I'm just going to scoot this this way. Oh, I forgot to put the... Um, oh, I'll add that. That's okay. This needs to come forward a little bit. Let me get a view here. Oh. Alright, I'll have to do something to cover that edge a little bit, but that's okay. I think it needs to still come to the side some. Yeah. There we go. Put a little bit of green in between them. I could probably sink this in just a tad. Yeah, oh, okay. just like that. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to zoom in here. Oh, where is it? Come here. This, uh, maybe I can grab it from the back. Can I grab it from the back? I can't see it. This is the problem when you hide signs in here. So we're going to go inside here if I can get my mouse to just land just right so I can grab that sign and change what it says. Maybe. Plaster wall. Where is the sign? That's what I want to know. Please don't make me dissect this to get to it. Got it. And what should this say? This should say photo. Hopefully this fits. Pick up. It looks like that may need to come down a little bit. I'm going to hit X because that's a little too close to the top. And we're just going to nudge it around. 
Left and right looks pretty good. And exit. And get rid of that so I can actually see it without being highlighted. Oh, sorry, Beaver. I got so into what I was doing. I'm doing really good. Thank you. I need, like, something that says, that makes noise when people chat because I get so just... I'm still a new streamer, so I need to just do a better job of looking over there more often. But I definitely get that little horse beam, you know, like they put the blinders on the horse. All right. So I'm happy with how that's turning out. That one on the, over here is kind of open. And I guess now, I don't want to do that. That gets really complicated. And they had pictures and stuff on this one. I'm going to leave it just glass. I'm, I'm not going to do all that. We actually have little handles on them. I, mean, I don't think I can find anything small enough to do a handle that small. Short of letters. Let's see. And that's way too big. Well, there's always the, let's see, we have a comma. That's a little too big too, I think. It wants to snap to some weird places. Let's turn position snap off. Yeah, that's too big. What about the full stop in this one is a circle. Let's see, there's a full stop. Yeah, those are just a little too big. We'll just leave the handles off. No handles. Alrighty. So what I do want though is... to position snap in the middle. Thank you. Wait, I almost grabbed the wrong circle there. Alright, let's put this on it. Right there. Scoot it back a little bit. Use the decorative light bracket. Let's see. Decorative light. Oh. I, yeah, I guess that I might be able to make that work. Come here, you. I knew there was something small. Thank you. Beeve. So many pieces I can't remember all their names. Alright, it's not sticking out, which is good. But if I want two of them, I think they will stick out. Can I nudge this at all? No, I cannot. But I could turn it sideways, maybe, instead of using that part of it and make it like this. I think that will work. Oh yes, yes it will. Thank you, Beeve. Put one here. Spin around. Put one there. Oh, that's a little high. Let's come here, you. Try to get them level at least. Ah, right there. No, I want that one, and I want that one, and you're not going to let me, because you're not part of the groups. Oh, why? Fine. I won't do it that way. Undo. And we'll just move them one by one. Really, really what I wanted to do was kind of scoop. I wanted to scoop both of them over just a smidge because this one is just a little off center and I can see it. But, alright, game. You win. You win. I will do them one by one. 
come up here. And there we go. I zoom back in. I really should just hook up my trackball to this. How far were they sticking out on this one? A little more than that. Right about there. Okay, I like your placement. And right about there. Okay. I zoom out. They're not spaced the same. So we'll scoot these over. Right there. Nope, just that one. Thank you. Right about there. There we go. I like it. Thank you, Beef. Again. Okay, so let's scoot this guy over here. Blue arrow. Right there. And then this is going to come back. Just a little bit. It's actually covered up by any green. Huh. So, but. Mm. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna grab, nope, let's go in the group. There we go. I'm gonna grab this and see if this will do what I want it to do over here. Um, I guess arrows are all in my way. I can't see a thing. All right. What I need to do is, excuse you, let's put these guys in with that group that they belong with. Merge. Merge. Alright. Now what I want to do is, Corgi, stop it. Plaster. Corgi's being very borky. My husband's moving around. He's found something to bork about. All right, I want one by one. So I'm gonna hit X on, not that, go away. Highlight out there, X. And I gotta find that piece again. Mm -hmm, that one. Because really, I just need to make this not have a space. There we go. All right, that works. Alrighty. Hey, Face Happy. How are you? Yeah, the doggos do. They want to be a part of everything. Ruby's still asleep, so at least I only have Borking Corgi to deal with at the moment. Alright, I'm happy with how that's turning out right there. I think that, let's see, so you guys can see it. I just need to find uh, or make some, uh, what do you call it, graphics. So here we go. So I think I'll put a bear graphic and I'll do this one. I'm going to keep these just glass in the middle like it is on the right side. This looks like it has prices for stuff. For rentals, I guess, like, what more are you going to rent than a stroller? Like, they got a lot of rental prices. I wish I could see the sign. They didn't get close enough to it. So I'm sure they have strollers and powered wheelchairs, but what else would we be renting out of here? That's what I'm curious about. Then you have a random sunglass hut. Oh, you could use the animal pictures in the props? 
Uh, I made these. This is a TV over here. Let me go back. So these are TVs or uh, panels. So I'm going to create some stuff so that I can add some of that detail that's there. But I'm not going to worry about right here and right here. There is the one, um, well, I used it over here instead of searching for it. But over here, I just I used these, but they're super big. So I'm just going to... I'm going to use the billboard stuff to fill in right here. And I may need to just put some glass over it. I didn't think about that. I may sink them in a little more and stick some glass over it. We'll see. But i got to get the, the right stuff to go in there so that it matches. So it matches what's in there. It's really hard to see what's in there. It looks like they kind of have the same stuff. This is as close as I can get. It looks like they just have like a tree or something. I don't know what's there. That looks like it's reflecting something, but there's looks like there's pictures in there. Like they just put some greenery, but I need a sunglass tower. I really, uh, okay. I really don't want to make a sunglass tower. That does not sound fun to me. Like, how do you make sunglasses in the game? Sorry, there was an error. I'm looking, trying to look at the workshop, but it's probably because I'm in the game. It's not going to let me do that. Isn't it the tree that's in front of the shop? Oh, that might be. Let me zoom out. Aha, it is. It's reflecting this tree over here. That's funny. Good call. But behind it looks like it's some kind of grass. Maybe it's the bush. Oh, goodness. I don't know what Ray and the corgi are doing in the other room but the corgi sure has a lot to say about it yeah I may I don't know I may just take my own spin on that and but they have glass there for a reason like they're putting pictures in there or something I'll just find a picture to stick up there My husband's like, you're not going to eat your bacon? It's like, I'm full. Do you want it? <laughs> yes, I want your bacon. All right. See if the workshop will let me uh, search for something. I know y'all can't see the workshop. I don't have that programmed into my OBS. I guess I could pull it up. And then I would have to log in. And then Steam asks me for all kinds of validation. Alright, so I'm going to search Planet Zoo. Let's see if anything comes up for Sunglass. No. Nothing does. I know that there's retail towers. But I'm sure that's not what they call them. Nope. Oh, what is that? That's cute. Clothing set. I don't see what I'm looking for. I don't think it exists. It makes me sad. Okay, back to Google Earth. So I can see. I'm going to zoom in on this. It's got wheels. <sighs> wheels. What's something that has wheels? I know there's something in the game that has wheels. These are too big. I don't want that kind of wheel. I know I have... Oh, I have blueprints off. Maybe if I turn them back on. Any wheel. I still come up with some. Oh, I can put these in my rental thing, though. Four wheelchairs. Let's see. Cool Dogs Workshop. I'm going to use Cool Dogs Workshop's wheelchairs. 
They're cool. From Cool Dog. Sorry, I couldn't help myself with the dad joke. Here they are. Cool Dog's wheelchairs. Those are pretty cool. That's a good job. Look at those bad boys. And then I think I'm going to steal his wheels. Or her. Or they. I don't know what Cool Dog is. Okay. Those are cool. Near, oh, not up in the sky. Let's go in the rental shop. Where they would bring you your stuff. And we'll set them down. I see that's too much in the ground. They did a really good job on... Oh, there's a... Yeah, I think there is a thing in games, a bicycle tire. A single bicycle tire. Alright, are these grouped individually? They are. Amazing. We're going to put these two... Oh, I'm going to have to merge them to move them together. That's annoying. That's fine. I didn't want to copy them, though. I just wanted to move them. Do 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 do. I'm going to just stick these behind the other ones. There we go. I'll organize these strollers a little better. Alright, we're going to move this one. And I didn't make these strollers. I got those off the workshop too in the last stream. Um, I got those from... Let's see, who did those? Stroller. Those are made by... Amber. Amber's workshop. Those are my favorite strollers. They're amazing. Mies? Where's the Mies? I don't know what he's doing. He's not in my stream, though, I don't think. He's not lurking around today. I think he's doing his own thing back there. Alright. So. Ah, I wanted the wheel. That weird little front wheel off of here. I think that that will work really well. So we're going to borrow Cool Cat's... Oh, I see how they made it. Actually, I think I'm going to do something different. Okay, so what I want is get rid of this, go back into construction, turn blueprints off. We're going to go into art shapes. Oh, you can see him. <laughs> I took my bacon. Yeah. What are you chewing on, little corgi? Oh, I see what it is. Okay, you can have it. That's yours. It's the key ring to his keys that he took apart. You look kind of silly. I'm looking for a circular. I wonder if there's a small enough circular thing. Primitive circle. Oh, that would be a really big wheel. No, that is not going to work like I wanted it to. Hmm. Hmm. I may just forego. Yep, I am. Right, I'm going to do this. Blueprints. Gift shop. Where's all my gift shop stuff from? I'm looking for a specific set. It has a cute little thing I'm going to throw out there. Shop display, that's not the one I want. Oh, that is a really nice shop display. What is this? Ricey's gift shop, various gift shop. What does she have in here? This one's really good. I like the little t-shirt stands, but that's not what I was looking for. The little books are cute. Good job, Ricey. Look at that. Those are so cute. So adorbs. But not what I wanted. Alright, I want... I must have scrolled past it. I don't see it. Is it... I don't think it's that one. 
It's one of these down here, I think. It's this one. Yeah, it's this one. It's got what I'm looking for. Uh, which one is this? This is, uh, who made this one? This is Plastic Swans. Plastic Swans is a very nice person. All right, Miss Plastic Swans, thank you so much for this. I'm going to put this in my build. We're going to borrow this right here. And we're just going to plunk it right here. Yeah, right there looks good. We're going to put that there. That was all I wanted from Plastic Swan's gift shop set. So we'll get rid of the rest of it. So now we have our little impulse buy stuff right there. And I think other than getting some images in here, I guess I could set... All right, back to my blueprints, and we're going to go find my favorite computer. There it is. Who made this thing? Toby Stevens 555 Workshop. That's where this comes from. Tony Stevens 555. Oh, Toby. T-O-B-Y. And Steven with a V. Stevens. If you search for computer, it should come up. Return to the game. But this is my favorite computer. It does require, oh, excuse me. Oh, geez, tight spaces. Okay, there we go. Come here, computer. It does require, uh, you gotta be able to hide it into some stuff. So I may have to moving around or add some more plaster here but you gotta sink it in and then there's your mouse and mouse pad I guess right there is that sticking out yeah it's sticking out maybe I'll move it to the right some is it still sticking out it is okay so we'll just pull it forward it's not quite lined up either there we go. Pull it forward a little bit, and then we'll just grab this, go in there, and just bring this out some to cover that up. And then voila, you have a computer. It's still sticking through a little bit on the glass there. That's okay. Ah! And then you can also, you can put stuff. It's got a screen. I don't have that image that they used on theirs. But what I do, let's see, my files. I won't, I'll go find the zoo logo. Let's see, HC Ad, Houston Zoo. These are all the different zoos I've done. A lot of times I'll put the zoo logos in here. I don't see a zoo logo. Seahorses. We'll put seahorses on it for now. That works. That's their screensaver. Some cute little seahorses. Okay. So, am I happy with what this looks like? Okay, so I need some more. That roofing just doesn't look fun to me. What do we have over here? An ATM? I can actually put an ATM there. All right. But I think the ATM requires a path to put it down. Hey, Cabe! Thank you. I appreciate the uh, hop in to say hello. I hope you have a good day at work, Cabe. And I hope you don't get stung today. Uh, Let's see. Oh, it's right there. I'm staring at it. I was getting ready to search for it like a goof. Yeah, it won't let me put that down without a... Uh... Oops. 
I gotta put some path down. I don't know. All right, pass. Align the grid. We'll align there. Put one here. One here. Yeah, you auto connected all that, which I wasn't too excited about. One here, one here, one here. That works. Paths. I think this is an eight meter path I had going on out here. Yeah, it is. No. Oh. All right, be awkward then. That's fine for now. Four meter path. Of course, you're gonna be a butthead. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you, Face Happy. There you go. All you saw, all you missed is me um, fighting with paths. So you didn't miss much. All right. Now what I'm going to do is put in a... Uh, now that I have pathing. Pathing, is that a word? All right. Uh, I don't want you to curve like that, though. Can you not? I wish I could have more control. However, I place this dude... Why are you doing that? Is it because I actually have a path back there? Here we go. Okay. That's what I want. Yeah, they are. Alright. Let's see if that's where I want it to be. I think that will work maybe I think I want it more in the wall though maybe Just a smidge. It's not quite lined up. I'm afraid to go... Oh, come on. Too much up or it'll twist it on me again. I was trying not to have it in the wall, but I can't see. And I feel like if I grab it from right here, because last time it was not being nice to me. Let's see what happens. See? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You butt head. Alright, no. I wish they'd give me an X control on this. That's what that's what I really want. Now pop out from the wall just enough to see the stuff on the screen. A little more, please. A little more. Right there. Okay. Why you gotta be so angled? Annoying. Alrighty. So what I wanna do is... Let me have some lockers over here. Hmm. I think I have downloaded some. If I could spell locker, that would be amazing. These are big lockers. I saw some on the workshop the other day that were really good. I like these ones in the middle, but is that the only size you get? Like, can I take these apart, or are they... I think they're confined to that size. These are made by... I don't know how to say this. Uh, Shawnee89? S-H-A-U-N-I-89? <laughs> They're called Lockers V2. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I'm going to go with, I like this set. Let's see if I can fit these. Or are they too big? Ooh, they're going to fit just right. Mm-hmm. We're going to just plop these right here for now. Beautiful lockers. I see how they built them. They don't look too complicated. But they look really good. Alrighty. Now. Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the quirky kisses. Oh my goodness. Plah. Plah. <laughs> he was really wanting some. Really wanting what? Some, some mommy kisses. He wasn't even over here. He brought him to me. He's been standing there barking at you. That's what he's barking at is you. Oh, I don't see him. What's wrong, buddies? Alright. These are, I need them to be green. Green! Yay for green. Alright. Now. I'm going to. Well, let's see. I really wish I could scoot this ATM over, but it's going to turn wonky on me. Alright. So. Let's go back to. Let's go to plaster. Uh, all. Oh, that's a really big block. Just kidding. Um, read the sizes, Kelly. Okay, this this might work. So what I want it to do is... Will you rotate the right way? No. No options I pick. Are you going to be nice to me and... Oh, oh, okay. That works. Right there. Alright. Okay. So what I want to do is just kind of cover up some of this guy here. What size is this? 4 by 2 This is 1 by one This one is 2 by one Okay. Too big. All right, go back to the one by one square. And this is Weird Zoo Pink, I've decided to call it. So many zoos that I've worked on have this crazy pink color in it. This is a little darker than I want it to be, though. Let's go down some. There we go. Turn my light on. Or move the sun, maybe. I always forget I can do that in here. Is it going to give me a better... No, I think the sun's... Yeah, no. I don't have any real better sun views. Okay, that's good enough. Alright, so what I want to do is... Is this in the ground? Just a little bit right there. Okay. I guess I can bring this... Yeah. To about right here. Does that look like it's... Maybe it's the ATM that's a little bit askew. I think it's the square, though. And these kind of come, like, right up to the... Like that. Okay. I don't think I'm going to have anything small enough to go in between there. And that's going to be annoying. What about you? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I found something. Oh, no. Wrong way. Why do I always grab the wrong arrows? Okay. 
guess I can leave that little edge there. All right, right about there. What does it look like over here? Right about there. I will push that back into the wall. Oh, please work. I may have to scoot that out some. I can give it just, come here red. No, red arrow, not blue. Red arrow. Ugh. I like my camera view, but I want the red arrow. Oh, I had it for a second. No, right there, thank you. Is that where I want it to be? Uh, kind of. Right, right about there, okay. Uh, I guess I can, oh, that works. That'll do. Also realizing these are a little bit different heights like they have something sticking off the roof there like just right here interesting okay all that is gray but that's okay I don't care all right now what I want to do is hmm No, that's not the one I wanted. I want blue. There we go. Excuse me. At least it has a little bit of the gray in there. Now it says first bank. Let's go look at some, and it's this direction, and it's blue. How big is this? It's gonna be too wide. So I would have to use two of these. I'm not sure this is where I want everything to be just yet. brain. <laughs> I'll raise this up a little bit. Right there. <laughs> brain, EXE are missing. That's pretty funny. Alright. This needs to be blue. Blue. That looks good to me. Close enough. 
Now I need an editable sign. Hmm. I need a smaller one. How wide is this one? Too wide. It's going to poke out. Okay, this one doesn't poke out, but I don't think I'll be able to do what I want to with it. Yeah, I'm not going to, because all that's going to show before the text does. Dun. How wide is this? Oh, that's huge. What about this one? That's big. Oh, that's even bigger. Well, I may just have to make some of this a little bit wider. Is this one and this one the same width? can't tell because it's so far away. Uh, that one's a little less... Oh, 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 hey, hey, hello. I didn't expect you to be smaller. You win. Let's turn angle snap off. It didn't. Maybe because I had it in the air. There we go. Got it. Well, I guess that's where it's going to live. I set it down too soon. Let's see if I can go find it. I, I hate it when I do this to myself. There it is. I see you. Got it. I was so excited that it, I didn't think about where it was placed. There we go. First bank. Alright, so what I want to do, I think, is uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. That was my placeholder for the roof, and then I want a different approach for the roof, and want is this right here. There we go. Okay, that works. Oh, that's a lot of fighting going on there. It stopped though. Alright, so I want to bring these two up. I see you fighting. I'm going to go mess with you in a second. No, no, oh, it changed groups on me. How dare you. I want these two. I'm going to deal with your fighting in a minute. Bring this. I may need to bring that down. I'm gonna bring it to right here. So what I need is—is is this a grid piece? Plaster? It is. Okay, so I rebuilt this. I think did I? I did. I rebuilt the front. So what I want to do is we'll go ahead and go in here and we'll get rid of that brick wall. Brick. Oh, it helps if I spell brick right. There we go. I'll put a two meter wall um, select group to add. Thank you. And two meter wall here. Actually, I want it to be. Oh, no, that's fine. Here. And then one. Oh, no. Why is that? Okay. Maybe I do have it on the inside one. In there, lined up for crying out loud. Undo. That's so weird. Okay, this must be a different group. Two meter wall. Right there. Thank you. 
get rid of the big one. I want to be on that group in a one meter wall. There we go. And now we have no more fighting. Woohoo! Okay. And then let's see. Let's go back to the plaster options. I wonder if well, that would be too high, I think. All right. I wonder if this is the right size to do what I want to do, come out here with it. It looks like it's just a little short. These cubes are like just a smidge off and it's so annoying. And the rest, okay. Hmm. All right, I'm going to take a short break and then we will come back and finish this little section of uh, our little shops here so I will be back let's see what my time my timer says in about five minutes
Alrighty, we're back. Let's see. Got myself a drink. Took me a little longer than five minutes. Sorry about that. Alrighty. Little details. Little details. Let's see. Get my headset back. I guess since it's not really playing the game music, let's see, um, view, music player, hey Jake, how are you? Um. There we go, make my own Planet Zoo music, then we're going to go in here in settings and we'll just turn soundtrack volume down for soon all right that's a little loud i think music player doesn't like me changing oh it's because i'm backing it up i'm not actually sound it helps if i actually pick the right controls here Right about there sounds good to me, but it's in my ears. I don't know how it sounds for you guys. There we go. Hi. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Lunar was here. Thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate it. Welcome to the flock of Ruby. Ruby's not out of her cage right now, but she is my streaming mascot. She is our Red Front McCall. All right, so this is what we've got so far of our St. Louis Zoo entrance. Let me change my screen so you guys can see it. And we're over here in this tiny corner. So for people just joining the stream, we've added, uh, for this stream, we added windows. I need to get some media to put in these um, screens here so that it will match what's going on in uh, what they have in the actual zoo and then I borrowed these things from the workshop over here so here's our little rental area I'm gonna need to detail that but right now I'm working on this little corner over here hey old Jake and Jake is a collaborator on a project that I'm working on so make sure you go check him out he has a YouTube channel he's got some really good planet coaster stuff too I don't play Planet Coaster, but I do enjoy watching the creations. Okay, I'm looking for, there we go, Google Earth. I need Google Earth. So I'm trying to, and then they've got this little coin machine. I think that's what this is. I couldn't decide what it is, but I've, I've decided it's one of those press a penny machines. I know I have a work, uh, workshop item for one of those. I used it in Houston Zoo. Oh, workshop. Ha ha ha. I'm silly. I don't want to type workshop. I'm going to type coin. No, it's not coin. Press. There it is. Press a penny. Who made this? Oh, wait. No, it's not mine. I don't want to upload it. I want to. Oh, I made the workshop item from somebody else's. Where did I see that? Where did I get it from? I bet I got it from, but it came out of here. It came out of somebody else's workshop item that was a gift, full gift shop. Did I get it out of here? Uh, this is Zootique. It's where I got the idea for a lot of things that I currently do, but is it where I got the press a penny from? It is where I got this from, which I've kind of revamped, which is a cooler, and then the idea to hide shops, because it actually has a shop behind it. Uh, let's see. I don't see the press a penny in here, so it didn't come from this gift shop. Where did I get the press a penny from? It had to have come out of a gift shop. 
somewhere. Huh. Oh, well. I feel bad now. I'm not sure who made the press -it penny. It's not mine. I can tell you that. I did not make this, but I got it out of something from the workshop. I think we can, I'm going to use this and we're going to change it up a little bit. All right, let's get back over to what we're doing in the game. Okay. And you guys should let me know if you want the circles that I made, if, if you have any use for them. I'll show them to you for a second. That's what we did last stream. I'll set this guy down. Uh, let's see. It needs to kind of turn more this way, and it's kind of out here. So, ah, oh, my, my ground's not level. Excuse me, I said up. Thank you. And right about there's good. Put that. I'm gonna put that there as a placeholder for now. Is it? Uh oh. Oh no. Save Sue. I think my game's about to crash. It's thinking about it. I may have to reboot the game. I think it just got unhappy. Yeah, I need to reboot the game. I think I pulled up Steam Overlay one too many times. Alright. Quit Planet Zoo. I'm going to pull that back up. Planet Zoo does not like the steam overlay too much. Library. Planet Zoo. Let's reload it. I don't have very many crashes, but it seems like when I do, it's when I'm streaming. It's probably because my computer's doing a lot. Let's reload the zoo. Oh, Twitter. I guess I can get rid of Twitter. I don't need that. Get rid of some things I'm not using. Hey, Pit Sky P, how are you? I'm just reloading my game. I just had a... It wasn't cooperating with me. There we go. Got my controls back. Okay. I set this down and all of a sudden I couldn't control my game. So I got lucky. I caught it before it decided to crash. So we're working over here on this little section of the St. Louis Zoo. How are you doing today, Pit Sky P on YouTube? to add some pink right here and a little bit coming down so I guess I'm gonna just use this and I gotta change all my settings again turn blueprints off and then I want plaster and I go down here bottom two by one yeah that's gonna have to. Oh, oh man, I hate it when I grab that. Oh, you're working on your zoo entrance? Are you doing it from uh, your own creativity or are you rec recreating something? I always forget that it, the color's up here once you set it down. I thought I turned. I have two songs going. Maybe it didn't. Sound effects, master volume, soundtrack, voice. Let's turn. Oh, I bet what I'm hearing is. I'm hearing the store. That's what I'm hearing. 
resume. We'll hit pause. That should stop the store music from the shop over there. Hey, Climbable Chunky over on Twitch. How are you? Look at it from this side. I need to turn my light back on. Really, all I needed was just a smidge more. Ugh. If I could get my controls right here, that'd be great. I always change my body position, like I'm going to be able to see better. Over on YouTube, Pit Sky P says it's a tropical climate. The theme is South Beach, Miami. Oh, that sounds fun. Lots of palm trees, a big pier, and a modern entrance. Oh, that sounds really pretty. I should post some pictures of that somewhere. Climbable says over on Twitch, resting before I continue cleaning for my birthday party. Aw, figured I'd support a friend. Well, thank you. What are you doing for your birthday party today? All right, that looks good. And I feel like I need to cover this over here with something. This doesn't quite come up. Actually, I think this is too high. Probably just did all that, and I'm going to need to undo it because if I I could angle it down because I know these are level with the green. Uh, okay, we're going to undo what I just did and then we're going to grab all of this, which means I got to go back in here and find that sign. Where is it? Where's that sign? That's not the sign. Oh, there it is. I see it. I should start with trying to grab the sign. Okay, I've got the sign. Let's see, Climbable says, uh, adult beverages and whatever we think of to do. Well, it sounds like a good 20 second birthday party. Although uh, I should say my, um, my son messaged me or called me yesterday from school, Climbable, and he said that his friends, once they discovered, we call one of our dogs the ancient one because she is very ancient and um, I guess that will have to do. She's turning 15 on paperwork this year and uh, they want to have a quinceanera for her, which I thought was super funny. So I started looking at um, dresses for dogs Let's see, I could just leave it like that, but it bothers me a little bit. I think that's fine. I can, I can move this whole thing down, though. Escape. Ah, oh, but I put it all into one group, and I hate my life. Because now all of that is not... Oh, why do I do these things to myself? Understandable, to be honest. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny because she's a chihuahua so she should have a quinceanera they decided okay did I get everything that's a part of that I shouldn't have grouped it in here I don't think I did I think I'm missing the part that I want which is up here oh horrible camera views yep there it is do I have it and is there anything yeah okay I think I've got it all let me uh, split that out so in case I want to move it again, there we go. Okay. I wonder if I can move those feet separately. I think I'm going to cover it up with concrete anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, back up here. This is what I was focused on. It's trying to... I need one meter now, so we'll grab this blue one. Oh, I don't have... I hate it when I do that to myself. There we go. Wink. And I need to change its color to Funky Zoo Pink. Pit Sky P. What software 
uh, do you use to capture and edit videos to post on YouTube? Um, I use a couple of different ways to do it. So I first started out using Windows does have its own if you have obviously the game plays on Windows uh, only but some people use a cloud for Mac. I know that's a thing. Um, but I have all PC so I used uh, Windows and it, there's a hotkey for it. I'm trying to remember what it was because I kind of stopped using it. I think it's a Windows Shift R. Hold on a second. Here you go. Uh, Windows Screen Recorder Hotkey. Windows Alt R. Yep. So uh, that if you're logged in um, to your Windows stuff, it should kind of auto connect you to, to kind of all the Xbox things that are there, um, which I thought was really funny because. I was playing one day and my real dad lives in Mississippi and I all of a sudden got a message through Xbox on my computer one day when I was playing Planet Zoo it kind of startled me but anyway Windows Alt R is what I used in my very first videos um, which is just the Windows recorder and it will auto save it into some folders um, generally it sends it to video and I think it names the folder capture and then um, you can use it from there with a variety of different video editing softwares. I use one that's actually a little more complicated and that's just because I have it for my son and we've had it for a long time and I did some training on it um, when I was in college which is called Adobe Premiere. I uh, just subscribe and pay for it monthly and so that's what I use or used to use. Um, well, I still use the Adobe Premiere, but anyway, for screen recording, I used to use uh, <clears throat> the Windows Alt R all the time. Um, it's a little restrictive in that it doesn't, if you change screens, it will stop recording. It doesn't always record what you're doing uh, if you change screens like I do a lot, which was kind of annoying. So I also, probably a lot of information, I use... Um, my, I have an NVIDIA graphics card, and so as I was looking around at information, um, NVIDIA has its own screen recorder built in as well. So if you have NVIDIA, you can hit Alt F9 at the same time, and it will pull up a screen recorder as well. Um, there's some other ones out there I know of. Uh, called there's one called I think bandit cam, but you do have to pay for it. I didn't and I didn't like that. I didn't want to have to pay for something else when I have all these things on my computer that already can do it. And then there's OBS software which is free as well, which uh, was what I streamed through, and it also has screen recording capabilities. But I don't I've never tried the OBS screen recording to be honest, so I don't know how it turns out. Um, I felt that the NVIDIA had a better quality video than the Windows screen recorder did. And it also, uh, so I started using that one. But the only difference is, I don't know if it shows it here, let me see if it does. Yeah, you can't see it. Um, the uh, Windows Alt R if I accidentally hit the Windows key will not show any of that whereas with the Nvidia if I accidentally hit the Windows key and it brings up the uh, menu your start menu uh, it does show it so each one has their little own I hope that helps it's a lot of information I did a lot of googling because um, I'm 41 I know a lot of people don't think I'm that old but I am I have some experience from when I was younger, I used to be online all the time. So I, uh, I'm gonna turn this back to gray. So I ha have some experience with stuff like that. Uh, yeah, Alt F9, it it'll send it, that one I know for sure does send it uh, into your videos folder and it will make one uh, for the game called Planet Zoo. And I've been using that and I like it. Um, 
a lot of user error sometimes, but it works pretty well for me. Good morning, Nubu over on Twitch. How are you today? So, um, and then as far as video editing, that's just user preference. I will say uh, Premiere Pro is really hard. Um, it's not as innate, innate, I guess, in how to use it. You kind of have to look at YouTube. I had to do a lot. I'm doing great, Nubu. Somebody over on YouTube asked me what programs I use for stuff, so I was just telling them, sharing what I use. But I think there's some easier uh, free editing softwares out there. They're a little more um, user-friendly. They're not as advanced, so to speak. All right, so I have my ATM here. I think it's looking about as good as I'm going to get it compared to the real life thing over here. I'm gonna switch views so I can see it a little bigger with you guys. What do we think? I think that that looks pretty close to what's going on in the zoo. I gotta change my press a penny that I borrowed from the workshop. And I need to get my media in there, but I'm gonna make that later. I'll do that off stream. I think I'm gonna do the roof to this building off stream as well. So I'm trying to decide where I want to go from here. So I can mess with my press -a penny and put in these guys and head over to all of this. Oh my gosh, this zoo is, like I thought this was gonna be a simple zoo entrance. I don't know what I was thinking. It's been far from simple. So we've got I'm trying to, okay, so this goes over here. So this right here is the, uh, okay, I'm a little disoriented. I think we're almost there though, getting close. All I'm gonna do is, what will be the end of the entrance is this water feature. So that's, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a little bit of fun. And I still have some work to do out here because I still don't have spawners or ticket people. Oh, goodness. Thank you, Nubo. I think I bet off uh, not more than I can chew, but it, it's just a bigger project than I, I thought it was going to be. So here it is. There's the whole thing. All right. So originally I was going to try to build my own. Uh, you can see I started it over here. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I'm going to build my own vehicle. I give up. I give up on that. <laughs> I'm not going to. I know exactly what I'm going to do, which I had in mind. It already exists. So sometimes, is the music too loud to you guys? It seems too loud to me. Or is it just because it changed songs? I'm going to turn that down because I can always just turn this down over here. It just may be me. I may have my headset too high. Let me know if the music's too loud on your end. So I, I, I have it going externally. All right. I'm gonna poke around. Um, let's see, if I do it from here, then you guys can see. Let's see, Steam Workshop. Log in so it's under my stuff. Yeah, I know I've got to find my code off my phone. There it is. Uh, oh, Steam. Okay, so you sent me this code. Let's go pick out. I'm looking for that bus entrance, so uh, search for a workshop. I want Planet Zoo. There we go. I don't usually get to it this way. All right, so we're gonna search. I want the bus entrance. Bus, is it entrance or spawner? I'm gonna search for bus spawner and let's see what, what it comes up with. What kind of bus options do we have? I can always just take a bus and turn it into one. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool too.
I think I like this bus. Who is this by? Gun Runners Workshop. Subscribe. All right. Let's see if it actually put it in my game. That's the next question. All right. Game streaming. Uh, blueprints. And it was called Bus. Oh, bus found it. Oh, I already had the other one. I just didn't start. I like this one. I like the way this one looks, though. I want this guy. Oh, that's a huge bus. I think it's very big. Okay. Oh, no. Come back. Let's see how this one works. I'm going to spin it. Hang on one second. My husband had a question. Nubu says, hello. I need those buses. Yeah, these are some cool buses. Oh, he has sparked the dogs. The corgi is alerting. Yeah, I was going to try to build my own bus, but... Um, I'm just gonna admit, vehicles are not my thing. Not my thing. I wonder where the spawners are in this thing. Let's see, where are they and how are they gonna get out of here? Does it have spawners? Oh God, I, I can't, I can't see. What well, should be its own, well, I don't see it trying to connect anything. Did this one say it had a great spawn point for new visitors? But does it say, does it actually have the spawner in it? bus okay so I don't think the spawners actually in here I'm gonna look at the other bus really quick just because this one's more expensive I bet this has the oh that one's super cute and you can see through it too hmm but where's the spawners where are they Oh, this is oh, this is from John's workshop. I reckon he always puts his name on his license plates. He makes some really good vehicles. This is super cute in here. Look at all the detail. Okay. Reinforce. It's good. That that's. Uh, I don't know what that says all there, but that's pretty cool. Okay. X. Does it have spawners in it though? I, f I feel like they're in here somewhere. Am I missing them? Hmm. All right. Well, it would need to be here ish. I may have to blow up my path. I don't think the spawners are in here. As this says bus, let's go back. Yeah, this is just a bus. And that's just a bus. The school bus has spawners. Hop in. We're going on a field trip to Sioux. Okay, so if I want this to have spawners, I think I have to put them in it. Somewhere. Without hiding my tires. I had to think about this. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna set this, oh, I can't set it over there. That's the edge. We're just gonna set this down right there. And is this all path? Yes, it is, and it's big path. All right, let me think about this for a second. All right, I want the smaller path, that's what I want. So I have the smaller path. All right, where, where are my spawners? I had a whole squirrel moment, so sorry guys. Wait, let me go ahead and get these in here. I need to I need to figure out where I want them to be. Uh, guest facilities, zoo entrances. Let's get rid of all the blueprints. I like to download stuff and just look at it. Okay, so this will connect on the ground right here. 
So what I'm thinking about is how this, in the height of this bus, select group to add. And it's not gonna let me place it, is it? Oh, oh. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna move the bus. Exit. Yeah, paths are so tricky. So that's why I'm kind of trying to plan out where I want to put the bus before I, in the entrance, so that I can kind of make these paths hopefully not have too much wonkiness going on. All right, I'm gonna put this here. Let's try again. Okay, so I want to see. I want to add, I wanna add it to the group. Yes. And then I want to, I want you to be in here. There we go. Yes, just like this. Go back where you were. Why? Come back out. Up. Up. Game's mad now. It liked... Okay, so it, it's okay here. But I don't want them to come out of the front of the bus. I'm going to spin it. I don't want them to come out of the nose. So it's too close to all the paths here. It's unhappy. Wait, wait. Right here. That works, but I wanted them to come out. So it likes here. All right. I guess I can exit the bus. Ugh. Game. I need to scoot the bus back. Scoot back, bus. Let's put it. Give it a nudge over. Uh, I was gonna nudge it, but I misclicked. Okay, let's see how this works out. Guest spawner, add to the group. Control, slide around. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, no, ah! All right, shift to come up. I see you, like, almost doing what I want you to do. Right here, right here. I think that, that, that that's going to work. Come back. Right there. Okay. Guest spawner. Oh, I'm being licked by a husky. Alright. I'm going to click on the spawner. I'm going to split it from the group. I don't know if y'all can see her, but she's furiously licking my elbow. I'm going to click on my bus. There we go. Okay. Well, that's just gonna have to, that'll work, I think. Now, now I need a ticket entry, because that was my next. This is raised up a little bit. Okay, I don't want railing, no railing. Align to grid. Yeah, it's not going to connect right there. And we're in the air, so it's going to have a curve. Okay, so let me, let me see here. Let me just cover that with a curb. Pass. Don't connect right there. No, stop it. No, I want to get rid of the notch, the little notch that's right there. Are you going to hook in? No, I've made my life difficult here. Hook in, thank you. Yep, right there, thank you. That works. And it won't let me 
That idea is not going to work the way I wanted it to. Alright, I give up on that for now. I'm just going to use plaster pieces for that. Oh no, I don't need help. I mean, I do, but not that kind of help. Construction. How big is 4x4? Four four? Yeah, we'll go with that. Plaster color, black. Oh, no, don't attach to my bus, please. Don't do that to me. There we go. At least that way it looks like the bus is on some kind of drive and can get in and out of here. Alright, right there. And then I'm going to put in like a little curb right here. How big is this brick? Do I have another piece like I think I do? Is this one super? Oh, that works. I think that like I like that. So I'm gonna change its color, like yellow or red, cause like a fire curb. Yeah, I'm gonna go with red. Am I making that a parking spot? I am. Yeah, kind of. Like it's like a pull through, I guess. You know how they can? It's like a bus drop off. And also to cover up this side of the spawner. <laughs> that should be wide enough. You know, bus drivers are really good at getting in and out of weird spaces. Now I need some tiny letters. Blueprints. Ricey's tiny font to the rescue. Set it over here. All right, I'll get in the group here. Do I have my light on? Yeah, I do. All right, let go of that piece. Thank you. I want the B. Oh, why are you being retarded? There we go. No. Game. Oh, I bet I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. Oh, let's see. Um, I bet it's attached to something else. Let's try that again. I'm not in any groups. Blueprints. Ricey's tiny font. I'm going to leave it on the grid, hopefully. Maybe that's what I'm missing. All right, let's try again. Highlight B. And get rid of the wall. Control X. Relative to world. There we go. That was the step I was missing. All right. So I'm going to put B. There's the U. Control X. It's still in relative. Thank you. B. U. Oh, that, that went a little faster than I thought it was going to. Bus. Where's the O? There it is. O. N. If you haven't checked out Ricey's fonts, they're amazing. Bus only. O-N-L. Right there, please. 
I've got my L. I hope I have enough room on the edge here to fit all this. S, uh, and there's the Y right there. Bus only. And we're going to highlight all of this. Now let go. Thank you. Right here. Get rid of the background. Split that from the group. I just wish I could change the color on these things. But that's okay. Alright, come out here. Maybe I shouldn't have done that so far away. Um, here we go. Let's see if any of this is actually still all on the world axis. If it is, that would be amazing. Oof. Sorry about my, my horrid camera controls here. All right, I'm gonna sink this into my plaster so that just the letters show. There we go. And then I want one more to put right here. And then I want one more. I'm going to put it over here. And then I think what I'm going to do is actually scoot these down just a smidge. I'm oh, fine. Be that way. Oh, I didn't mean to copy it, though. I copied it again. Wrong key. There we go. Bus only. And I really wish I had, I don't think it's going to be, I think it's going to be too big. Um, I can always spin it though. But it's curvy. Where are you going? Align to surface. There we go. Thank you. Why isn't that straight? Like, why can't you just be straight? This, Where's the full stop? That one's curvy too. I wonder if I just use the edge. Uh, 45 degree is on. Blue once, twice. Really what I'm trying to do is I want to make a square. That's what I want to do, but yeah, that's just too tall. I don't like that. All right, let's try. Where's the middle beam? Is this small enough? No, that is way too big. All right, just kidding. All right, let's search through property. Half meter high. Those are my only options for half meter high. What about one meter? Anything I can make a little box out of probably not all right reset filters what about small I just want small what are some small things how big are you too big oh maybe I can use the edge of this connection buses we have those in the Netherlands this is actually a Netherlands bus <laughs> <laughs> the person that I got it from is John, and he always puts, I think he's from the Netherlands. So, I'll have to kind of go through there, and I'll leave connections on it, though. I have a heck of a time getting those small fonts to work. Oh, so Pitt's guy on those small fonts, um, from, you have to make sure that you set it down on the world axis and then toggle your arrow to world axis and then they will stay on that um, wall that uh, Ricey has it designed on. And then you scoot them all over where you want them to be and then don't take them off until you have all your letters. That's how I do it. All right, so what I'm trying to do is make like just something to catch your attention here. 
So I'm wondering if this is gonna like show too much in there. It might. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna rotate you this way. And then I'm gonna, I want the green one. Come this way. And I just want the edge. Yep, just like that. I used a yellow bus from Mono in my first two, the classic one, which is based on the English building, so it's really funny. I needed something funky, hence why the yellow bus. <laughs> Face happy. So the yellow buses remind me of what we have here, like the school buses in America. Oh, these aren't all in the same group, so we're gonna go ahead and group those. And then straight down. And then I want to just scoot this over just a smidge. That. Yeah, I like the old classic yellow school buses. Group. That's why I wanted to use one instead of a classic red bus from England. Yeah, the, the our school buses are quite funky. And the older ones were just, they were funky. They smelled funky. They weren't fun to be in. They didn't have air conditioning in the south. Whew, that's not fun. All right, let's scoot this over right there. Okay. There we go. Bus only. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Okay, I don't need this anymore. It can go bye-bye. Now, where am I going to hide my ticket stuff? That's the next question. Because I want it to be before they get over here, because in all my other zoo entrances, I always stick them literally where they are. But it creates some problems, because the guests will have to go through the tickets, and then they come back out the other direction to buy stuff in the shops I like to hide. Oh, hey, random piece. I'm going to make sure you're not attached to anything. Delete. And the dream is, after I move, to one day convert one into a tiny houser. You might be able to find one already done. That's a popular thing over here right now. It's the bus tiny house. Some people use these types of buses, too, or like the travel buses. What do I have hanging out over here? Oh, it's a copy of the bus only. Excuse me. Please highlight that game. There we go. Get rid of that. Yes, they're going to spawn under the bus. That was part of the reason I put the curb here is to hide the spawner. So here's the spawner. They're right here. I don't have anything in the zoo yet to test it. So that's that's my goal. We're going to try to get that figured out. Because my brain was hurting from the building. So I'm going to hurt my brain with a different activity. Let's see, so I guess I need to put a little curb right here to, I mean, kind of, I don't know, we'll think about that later. Uh, before I get too attached to my entrance that I have over here, I kind of want to get this sorted out with the tickets. Okay, so tickets, brain hurts the moment I wake up. Yeah, I'm pretty cranky when I wake up. All right, I don't want the heat map. Go away, heat map. Um, let me look at how they actually have this. Where can I hide it? <laughs> Where to put it? My parking entrance is a little different, but that's okay. <laughs> I 
I think what I'm going to do, uh, hang on a second. New window. I'm going to go take care of that over there. Twitch. Sorry, there we go. Hello, Fauna, how are you? I took care of that. I'm good. I am deciding where to put my ticket thing for this Sue. That's what I'm deciding. If I stick it over here, they're going to complain that it's too far away. So I'm thinking about how to hide it over here. blow some of this up. Thinking about how they're going to walk. This is, what size grid did I make this? I think I made it, oh no, I just built it. So they have to go this way because there's no way to get off this way. So they're going to go this way. And I like how all this is put together. I really do. I really don't want to blow all this up. Zoom entrance. Go away, heat map. Um, I really want it over here, but my hills are in the way. Then I'm going to decorate. I guess, let's see, what is it doing? That's kind of the wrong way. Will it connect right here if I put it right here and I can hide it with some other stuff? Let's see. Let's turn that off. What happens when I spin? That goes into the bus. I don't want that. This is too tight of a squeeze. I will not be able to get the path to be nice. I already know. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see you trying to do some connections. Aha! Alright, I'm gonna come back over there and I'll mess with it. Alright, I need something in here to actually make people come in. So, where do I want to put it? Because it doesn't look like they have anything really to look at other than the... Let's see. So, I'm going to just... I'm just going to put, for now... A lonely little exhibit. Get out of that group. Right here. Go away. Go away. Um. 
Um, now I'm not going to create this whole zoo. I'm just going to do the, um, over on YouTube, I'm just going to do the entrance. So my plan is, for now, uh, if you look at the aerial, I'm just kind of doing a little bit of parking lot. I'm going to put some of the, uh, what do you call it, foliage in. And then I'm going to make this bigger for you guys. So I'm just going to put in um, this building here that I've been working on. And then over here, I'm, I'm going to do the water feature. So just kind of this circular area and a little bit of the parking lot. And then when that's done, I will throw it up on the, on the workshop. And that is the plan because the only zoo I'm recreating right now is uh, fully it will be the Houston Zoo I just I like to do entrances for some reason I like recreating them they're fun all right so let's go back to putting an animal in there um, man my brain okay and let's sort by appeal. So the highest appeals. What options do I have? An eastern blue, eastern brown, puff adder, boa. I have two eastern. Okay, cool. So we're going to adopt you. And we're going to adopt you. And I don't even know if I have the staff yet. I mean, I don't have all the staff buildings. I'm pretty sure. What's this say? Yeah, well, I just put some down, so hold on. Uh, I need uh, zoo management. What kind of staff do I have in here? So I have vendors and I have one mechanic, so let's go ahead and put in a caretaker, a keeper, a security guard, and a veterinarian. And then let's hit play. All right, that alert is gone. So let me grab uh, exhibit. Started. I've never seen Peaky Peaky Blinders. I don't watch a whole lot of TV, honestly. I tend to rewatch old stuff. I'm weird. I just watch the same stuff over and over again. It's because it's comfortable. I can ignore it and read. Alright, so we're going to plop those guys in there. Let's go check their climate. Oh, I got lucky. Everything's right where it's supposed to be. I love it when that happens. Love it, love it, love it. Alrighty, so let's see if this works. It looks like it is. It's a little, little clustery. <laughs> oh, they barely touch it and turn around. That's funny. That's really funny. All right. So while I've got them facilities, uh, here we go. Let's go ahead. Cause we know they're going to complain, right? I'm going to go with the European bench. I like that. I feel like. There should be one here. Maybe we'll put two of them there. That looks good to me. And then we're going to put one here. And then I'm going to put one there. And then I'm going to put one there. Uh, we'll put one here. And then I'm going to put one here. And then let's stick one. Can I get one on the other side? Yeah. I'm going to put one right there. And then for now, I'm going to tuck one right here. And we're going to tuck one right here because they're going to complain. Then I need bends. Oh, before I forget. Guest facilities, finance, even though we're in sandbox. Please give me money while I have it running for my nice little one exhibit zoo. But I have an amazing entrance for my one exhibit. All right, trash cans, let's do that. 
We'll go with New World bins. I like those so that they don't leave trash everywhere. So we'll put one here and one here. We'll put two up here. And I want to put one there. And I'll put one there. And one there. In there. I don't think the guests are actually going to use this path down there, so I'm not worried about the trash cans there. And I'm kind of weird. I don't like to put the trash cans like right next to my seats because nobody wants to sit next to a bunch of trash. All right, so I'm going to put one here. And I think I'm going to use the trash can to hide that piece of floor that's sticking out. quite finished what's going on in there but we'll throw some here and then let's see for now we'll put one right here and then these are shops and these are shops so I'll put one spin that one here Put one here. And I don't want it to sink into the wall, so we'll put one there. That should be enough to keep my. I should probably put one over here too, I guess. Alright, that's good. Have they even made it over here? Nope, they're still walking. It looks like they're getting tired and they're turning around before they ever even get. Oh, do I have a problem with the path? Because they're all coming right here. And then they turn around. What are they thinking? Oh, they made it past. They just say they're going home. That, that's funny. Okay. They don't even make it in here. That's hilarious. What if I move this a little closer? They really don't like having to walk that far. Like you get one free exhibit while you're out here. <laughs> you leave to make coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get, new boo. All right, what if I just chunk this right here? Let's see what happens. <laughs> Will they make it all the way before leaving? my kids you had to wash the pot <laughs> I hate having to wash the pot okay so they're making it a little further now let's see if I'm moving that there will actually get them to walk to the exhibit nope they gave up I <laughs> still gave up that's hilarious well at least I know my entrance kind of works They're just not high enough appeal. They make it to right here now and then turn around. Hmm. So what if I put Actually, what do I have in my blueprints so I don't have to actually build it? Yeah, they have the ticket barriers. I, I put them right by the bus. <laughs> it's right there. Queen Esme, how are you doing on Twitch, Queen Esme? Um, well, I don't know. What if I put in a statue over here? Would that keep them happy? That's a good idea. Okay, so let's see. Facilities, no construction. What if I put in a big statue? Oh, let's turn blueprints back on. There should be some in-game. Am I not spelling statue correctly? All right, let's pause the game for a second. I have this huge, nice thing for you guys, and you don't even want to walk to the shops. You're so lazy. Uh, stat 
No. Construction. Oh, it's the filters. That's the problem. I have filters on. Had a wacky night. Just woke up. Seven in the seven in the evening for you. Well, I hope you have a better day. All right, statue or evening. It is what time for me? Eleven forty-seven a.m. I'm looking for where's the I'll do it by pack content pack Africa where's that rhinoceros that they put in I'm gonna put that guy right there maybe that'll be enough oh rhinoceros where are you I missed it there it is okay sculpture rhino Uh, where should I put him? Like right here? That's kind of interesting. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's kind of, I like that. I want to put him right here. All right, so we're going to put him there. And then facilities. Vista. Where are the new Vista points? There it is. All right, can I set this down here? Of course not, because that's a curve. It's got a slope. All right, right here. Put it right here. And let's assign the item focus. It's going to be this guy. Confirm. <coughs> Hello, Ruby. Good morning. You were lurking yesterday, so I saw you explain what you did in the meantime. Well, okay. Can you maybe put rocks under it to elevate? Right here under the rhino, Nubu? He's got one foot on it. I could put another rock here. Nature. Rocks. Turn blueprints off again. Mm, let's try a $10 rock. He seems like he's in a hole. He's got one foot there. All right. Here we go. We'll fix it. All right. So one foot's touching that rock. One foot's touching that rock. And then... I can always put in a beam for the other two. Feet. Ruby. Metal. Beam. Uh, content reset filters. Let's look up beams again. Beam. Is that wood or is it metal? I, mean, I think it has metal at the top of it, but I can't see the top of it. I don't think my rhino is working. I think they're walking away. Yeah, no, that's not what I want. I want something with metal on it. Ruby, good morning, but I don't appreciate the screams. I know there's, let's see, the banner. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I want this. Where's the arrow? There it is, all the way in the ground. This thing is tall. All right, where's my arrow? I'll scoot it over some. There we go, that lands in my hoof. There, does he look a little more secure now, Nubu? <laughs> is that Ruby that likes shoulders? Yeah, um, she does, but she's being a weirdo. Okay, so they're coming and they're looking and they're awing, but they're turning around. So I wonder if I need to put another one somewhere. Like, you don't have that much further to go, guys. Alright, plan B. Blueprints. Habitat. 
Let's see if I can find, uh, let's see, my hat, my blueprints. Um. What is this? Pick me hippo. What is this? It's my Houston Zoo seal habitat. Um. I really don't want to do the pygmy hippo. You can always put some animals right there on the curve. Like put a habitat out here. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. Maybe another vista by that bench. Oh, like, okay. So I can copy this vista point and try to trick them. Well, let me duplicate it. And they're looking at him from over here. Let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't. That that's not gonna trick them into coming over here. I don't think. All right, so I'm gonna move this back where it was, and then. Do a barrier. Um, we're just gonna throw in a habitat right here. This is, will this let me curve? Yes, it will. Nice. Why is it raining? Excuse you. You, you can stop that. We're gonna pause the game because they're all just going away. All right, I need an aerial view here. And we'll make the last bit straight. All right, it connected. Habitat gate right here. Wink. Did it connect? Do I have a full habitat? I do. How big is it? It's not that big. Not that big. Okay, so animal trading. Reset all filters. What do I want to stick in here? Okay, I think I'm actually, hmm, I'm going to make this just a little bigger. Go back in here, get rid of that, get rid of that. Habitat on the fly. <clears throat> now how big is it? That's a little better. Alright, I think I can I can fit something decent in that. Um Bye Pit Sky P. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. I'm glad you got some ideas. Enjoy your weekend too over on YouTube. Appreciate you being here, Pit Sky. How about American bison? Do they need a lot of room? I like American bison. I think that would be a nice thing to see as you're walking in. American bison. Okay, so I have enough room for them. And I can have one male and as many girlies as I want. Habitat providing. All right, so American bison, come back here. There you are. We'll adopt this guy and we'll get two girls. 
then we'll hit play on the game. Animal trading, animal storage. Grab our bison. I'm just gonna throw them into the zoo. If they're sick, they'll come get them. We're in sandbox. All right, so I'm putting American bison in here. So let's see, what do they need? <clears throat> Habitat, species, American bison, there they are. Oh, here comes one. Hello, little bison. Get rid of all the blueprints. Shut up, Ruby. My husband may have to go get her. All right, let's give them a grab ball over here. Um, we'll put a rubbing pillar over here. A large barrel feeder over here. And then, <clears throat> what else? Hello, bison. What else do they need? So they're, they're enriched. I'm gonna go ahead and give them the hanging grazing feeder. A block of ice. And a skittle. They're just gonna have a very cattywampus quickly made. Oh, instead of this, let's give them the rubbing pine. I forgot they added those. Yeah, we're gonna give them the rubbing pine. There we go. And then I'm going to terrain. Excuse me, you just ran to where I want to put in some water for you guys. I'm gonna push this down. flatten the surface and give them a little watering hole and a smooth oh that's a little excessive there oh I have push okay that's fine I want smooth this is fine smooth that out and they have some water yep that upsets you that's okay and then because I put water in I need I don't know yet. It looks like they're thinking about coming. I see one coming. Ah, oh, so they don't get sick. I need, um... Why aren't you showing... Oh, because I have Easter Point. I need a water treatment thing. For right now, get rid of that heat map. I hate that. I don't want it. We're just going to plunk it right here for now. I'll move it later. Okay, they're coming in. They're moving past that spot. Woohoo! I bet they're gonna tell me the view of the American bison isn't very good from here. Exit. Diseased animal. Okay, that's fine. We'll go get it. Guess thoughts. Well, all right. They're not saying much about the bison. Oh, there's one that's stopping to actually look. I guess I could pull this a little closer. I'm upsetting the bison. They're getting boxed. There we go. Did I even make my uh, barrier high enough? I didn't check that. Barrier height. 4.13 feet. I thought I changed this back to meters. So 4.13 feet, 2 meters should be high enough. That should be good. Okay. Oh, he's in the little swimming area. How funny, I didn't think they would actually get in it like that. It's been a while since I've had bison in a zoo. Okay, so really quickly, terrain, they're happy environment they do not like the arrowwood bush so where's the arrowwood bush at that they don't like i bet it's that arrowwood bush yep it's that well i'm not taking that out you're just gonna have to deal with the arrowwood bush what kind of plants do you like and we'll give you a couple of plants all right so golden rods um 
trying to line the surface off. I want those to be kind of straight up. There we go. And we'll put a couple of common reeds right here. And then I like willow trees. So let's put so that they have some privacy back here. Put a little tree there. Let's put a little tree there. And these are really all the, all the only plants they get. That is not a very wide variety of plants for these guys. And they can have nettle. Alrighty. Hmm, interesting. All right, well, we'll put some nettle next to that. And I think they need a hard shelter. I'm not going for superstar habitat here. Just going for giving them a little bit of stuff. Okay. Uh, I need to check. Are they okay on hard? Nope, they don't need any hard shelter. Well, poor guys. That kind of makes me sad. All right, so they're going in. Yay, okay, so they're actually coming into the zoo. Woohoo! And they're walking over there to view my things I originally put in. All right, yay, it functions. Woohoo! All right. So, now what was I working on before I decided to do all this? <laughs> all right, so we have this. I'm gonna mess with hiding all that later. I am not in the mood for rock work right now, I can tell you that. So let's go back over here where we were earlier before I decided to sidebar to all that hot mess. Put it back on pause so I don't have to deal with animal stuff. Did they ever fix that animal though? What's wrong with their welfare? I bet when I moved it, no? Climate, okay, oh, that's fine. Did they have babies? They had babies. All right, so get rid of these. Release. I'll hit play so we can get rid of the protesters. I not have that red alert up there. And we're gonna come back over here, this side of the uh, entrance. And then let's see. So we have the press a penny and uh, let's see. I uh, need to go to, um, what's it called? Google Earthy Poo. There it is. I'm going to finish off this little corner. I get pop myself back down. Can't see. That's a decent little view. So it has like a little hut on it. I need to change the colors. Can I change colors? I can change the color of this. Yes, I can. Woohoo. All right. Now I've accidentally covered stuff up. I didn't mean to cover up. There we go. Now I can see everything I need to see. All right, so we're going to go around and change the colors of these. And I got this, I don't know where I got it from. I did not make this press a penny. It came out of um, a gift shop somewhere, but I don't know where. I tried to look through some of my gift shops to see where I stole it out of. But it came out of um, a gift shop on the, on the workshop somewhere. Okay, this piece, can I change its color? Yes, I can. 
that's a little too red. There we go. That matches. So this piece, can I change its color? Yes, I can. Yay for Flexicolor. And what about this piece? Yes, I can. Now, it bothers me a little bit that it's not the same on both sides. I think it's because of that big... Oh, it's because of that big uh, brick is why it looks different. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I can leave the guts the colors that they are. Let's go up here, change this color, and all of this. I don't want it to be black. And change it all to that color. And then everything that's this, I'm going to change, I think, to more of a... Huh, that's like a gray, almost. So let's let's go into the color wheel here. Okay, I can I can hit pause. My animals are all happy. Pause. All right. Let's go more to the gray side of that. I like that. Nailed it. I think. Let's do the same over here. Oh wait, let go. I want that color. Oh no, 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 not that. I meant to grab. Oh come on, game. This is tucked in here where it's super hard to grab it. Alright, I'm going to have to see if I can get it this way. Let go of that, let go of that. I have five things, I don't want five things, I just want those two, whatever they are. Or are they not something I can change the color of? What are they? Alright, let's get super aerial view. Square up on it. Let's see here. Let's see if I can just. Oh, come on. It's grabbing everything but what I want. Of course. I hate you too, game. I hate you too. Aha, got it. Woohoo! There we go. Now what I want to do is, I think I'm going to cover this side up. Well, this is a square. It's a cube. Primitive Zoo Cube. So that means they're using arc shapes. Construction, arc shapes. Let's look at the square. Copy, but I want... I should have looked at what size that was. Not this one, it's this one. Oh, I don't have, darn it. It's this square and I don't want it to be red. I want it to be this color. I did it again. Control X, turn on snap. There we go. Okay, right, it kept the same color. All right, come out here. Right there. And then we're going to go up. Oh, but it's going to be too thick. It's going to cover up some of that stuff in there. Eh. Eh. Alright, what about plaster? I may just leave it open then. Um. Just, oh, not two by two. One, nope. That'll be too thick, too. Just kidding. I guess we'll just leave it open. Alright, I want a little roof on top, though. I do. I do want that. Alright, so. Control X. Rotate. Toggle relative to world. So I can go straight up. And we can go over a little bit. There we go. 
take the toggle relative to world off, come up, relative to world axis, so I can go straight up. Mm, no. I may have to do a little fandangling because I don't think this is. This isn't. I'm going to have to angle it just a little bit more, I think. Oh, come on, right there. No, Ruby. I always love pressing. I did too. Boyfriend came downstairs after me and thought. And was like, where were you? I thought you were screaming, but then I saw you were watching that lady with the bird again. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> she scares me too. <laughs> the lady with the bird again. Technically, it's not my bird, but <laughs> she is now. She came with the husband. Why are you, why are you saying it like it's a bad thing? Because <laughs> it's funny. My husband, I don't know if you heard him, said, why do you say it like it's a bad thing? Uh, yeah, Ruby kind of just forced her way into being my mascot. Alright, I think I... I wonder if I can get this to... Let's change the angle here. Let's go down to 15. Oh, excuse me. Okay, X. Oh, let's turn, uh, turn, the, uh, turn this back to peace. Let's try one more. Uh, go back to world. Let's get this, see if this will work. Excuse you. Alright, well that kind of, that's fine. Okay, well, let's see if I turn this one. 15 more degrees. Oh, I gotta change it back to the piece. There we go. Up 15 degrees. Okay, I think this is gonna work. Maybe. Oh, no. Okay. I need to toggle it back. There we go. Okay. I need the blue arrow. There we go. Okay. Blue arrow. Now let's pull it forward a little bit. Alright. Maybe. Alright. Let's get these to meet at the top. I'm going to pull you in some... No, right, yes, right there. Okay, let's grab that one. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So I got this um, yes, Ruby, we love you. Everybody loves you. Uh, I guess that works. I'm not super crazy about it. Right there. Oh, I've got it tucked underneath, so I guess I'll tuck this one underneath. Just... Alright, one more note. I'm going to cover that black thing, that's what I'm trying to do. There we go, right there. I think it needs to come down just a little bit. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're going to go for it see what happens. Am I in the group? Can I? Yes, I can. Control X, let's see how off this, okay. It's a little bit wonky. Hello, Kai. Please don't punch me. Right here, right there. I think that works. Let's set that there. Um, then I want... I'm going to grab this one. Make this a little higher. Ruby can be really funny sometimes too. That's not funny though. That hurts my ears a little bit. Right there. Okay. Uh, why? Am I still in world access? Is that why? Is that the problem? Relative axis. Okay. Well, I don't know. Well, let's try that again. I think I had the wrong... One, two... Yeah, this is what I wanted. 
on it right there. Oh, camera. And let's bring this back. It's like so close. Okay. I really don't want to have to overlap that. That's so annoying. Thinking about how I'm going to do this. Okay, so let's do... Let's bring it this way. Red. We're going to rotate like this. And then I'm going to drop this... down and I want the blue one yeah I want the blue one <coughs> it has oh but they go the other it doesn't matter they go this way and they're a little thicker but that's okay okay that I think is thinking about it. All right, let's scoot you. Excuse me. Guys. Oh, Ruby. No, no. All right. What if I use this piece instead? Nope. It's not going to be quite long enough. What is that called? Though? Planet Zoo Plank Thick. Let's go look at our other options for that. Planet Zoo Plank. And it's this colored one. That one's one meter. That's a little dramatic. <coughs> it's not quite on the right angle. There we go. And it's some funky brown color. Hmm. <coughs> Almost black. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it the way I don't like to because then they fight each other and that's so annoying. Alright, so I'm going to build this one first. Alright, so they do kind of have a obvious... This one. Oh no, moss. All right, like that. Oops, I'm not holding the right key. Window key is not the same as control. Are they gonna fight? What? Ha wait, wait, why? I heard it set down. There we go. Now I'm gonna grab all these and. Oh, come here, camera. I'm gonna rotate them just a little bit. Maybe. There we go. Got them. X, X, turn off that, and I want the red one. There we go. And then I'm going to scoot out just a smidge. There we go. Nope, a smidge more. Ah, oh, hand. There we go. Okay, right okay. there. Ruby is displeased. Ray went to the other room. She said, where you go? Why you leave me? All right, now let's see if I can just flop this around without having to rebuild it. Oh, I do this every <clears throat> single time I turn off angle snap when I get mad at myself. Turn angle snap back on. Control X, angle snap on. Let's put it at 45. One, two, three. Three, four, 
Oh dear, Ruby. Alright. They don't quite meet at the top, which is a little annoying. Are we touching on this side? Oh, for crying out loud, I let it go. So in case I do that again, we'll split it from the group. Ruby! One, two, three, four. Come back over here. Okay, it is touching, but the back side peeks through, so... Annoying. All right, I'm gonna set it down. We'll just move this one little piece. Let's give it, take off the, give it a little nudge with the circles. Okay. And then, I'll give it a little push down. And then this one needs to go down just a little. There we go. Okay. Aha. I think I have some weird little sign right there, but I'm not too concerned about their weird little sign. What I'm going to do... Hmm. All right. Um. Do I have a... What do you call it? A planet zoo. Well, I guess I don't need to search for it that way. I'm silly. I want a triangle. That is what I want. What's the smallest triangle? How big is this? Not quite big enough. How about you? You might fit in there. Aligned to surface. Oh, this this is this is a pyramid. I don't want a pyramid. I want a triangle. All right, second size triangle. Align to surface. Let's get this in the right. Oh, let's see, relative to what? No, I don't want that barrel like that. Why? I guess we're, we're going to do this the hard way because I want it to keep the line to surface. Please fit in here all nice and snug. Almost. Now is it sticking out on this side? Woohoo, it fit! It fit! Okay, so I want it to be what color? What color do I want it to be? It's a little bit lighter than that. But that, that's, that looks good to me. Where's my check mark? Just to make sure that it yeah, I plopped it. Okay, and then we're going to scoot this back. Boy, I couldn't have made that fit better if I tried. I got really lucky. Lucky me! And right there. Alright, now it has the little roof like the one in the picture. It's just wider. I think, but that's okay. And then... I really don't like putting in vending machines, to be honest. Hungry? Looks like this is made out of metal and mesh in the back. Is it on the side too? Yeah, it is. Hmm, interesting. The bottom's metal. This one's wood. It's like they replaced it. With metal just on this one side. How ugly is that? Alright, we're gonna go with all wood. Okay, 
So, come on. Do I want to align the grid or just, I think I'm just going to throw a path down. That's, that's what I'm going to do because I think I have to cover some of this up anyway at some point. So we're just going to bring this back this way and connect it in for now. And then terrain, we're going to basically mow the grass. Short grass, please. And uh, let's see. So facilities, they have two drink machines. So we'll go with Gulpy. Uh, I guess I would need to, to set this back. I need more path, apparently. Because I can't just, I can put it anywhere on the path. But okay, fine. Be that way. I should have aligned to grid, probably. Because I, I know what I'm going to do. Control. I want a little square here, and a little square here, and then connect these in like that. There we go. Facilities. Now, I want a Gulby machine. Behave yourself, Gulby machine. I'll put that there. And then in honor of Nubu, we're going to put a coffee machine in. And Anubu likes coffee. There we go. And they, they don't have one, but I am going to put a trash can right here. Because it's Planet Zoo. <coughs> Ruby, and you could never. You just made a fresh cup. <coughs> I only get coffee when I'm out. I don't make it at home very often. I like it, but... I'm a little lazy, to be honest. It requires too much effort. Do you mind? Hi. Okay. No, Kai. Please don't do that to me. Alright, so we need to build a little vending machine hut. So I'm thinking... back to our beans. Oh no, Ruby, no. I'm going to put on Flexicolor so that I don't pick stuff I can't change the color on. Let's see, okay. Planet Boom Beam Square, Square. They, do they, they don't have a one meter version of that. Do I need a one meter, meter version of that? I think I might. So whatever I pick needs to have one meter. So wood beam squared one, two, and four. This is, so this is two. All right, so let's go with the four. And then, I know I'm weird. I'm aligning it to the machine. I don't, I do this <laughs> Every time to myself, align to the dry little guy there. X, space bar, all right, there we go. Up, thank you. And let's bring this down. Oh, I don't know, right about, I can't see. Yeah, right about there looks good. Ah, she's actually yelling at, at, at not me, but at, um, at the me's. That is who she's distressed with. Alright. So let's put this here. And then I want the one meter one. I think one meter. I will try it. 
right about here. And then we're gonna bring that right there. And then we're gonna put another one right about here. And then I want the, well, I thought this was the, th this is, would be square. This is thick, thick, thin. Okay, so I want probably two meter for the thin one. Should have changed the color on this. I totally forgot. I was more concerned about actually building it. All right, once I get all these in, then I'll do that. Kai, why are you crying? He's such a crybaby. My husband got in an argument the other day with a lady at the grocery store about um, how huskies don't bark, which ours actually do. Uh, but so we were talking about it and we were looking up about huskies barking uh, and talking about it amongst ourselves. And Kai really is actually very quiet for a dog he does not usually have too much to say but when he does he whines like a little baby and I think people often think like we're being mean to him or something all right that's a little too gray that's a little too yellow Now I can't see the color. I think that works. I'm going with that color. But she was adamant. I'll only get huskies because they don't bark. It's like, mine barks. Kai gets very, um, hello, somebody's there. And he has a big booming boof. It's really funny. Wood beam square painted. So that is this. And I want, I'm going to do the two meter up at the, why couldn't you keep the color? Anyway, that's what is going on behind me as Kai is whining. Probably because he wants to go outside. Okay, Says, Daddy, let me outside. Please let me outside. Oh, he was telling on the corgi. The corgi was eating his food. What a bad corgi. Eat it then, you idiot. Come here, Kai. All right, so we have this little panel here. Come here, Kai. So I'm gonna exit the group because it looks like I can just duplicate this to the other side. And it actually looks like the way they did this. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put that there for now. And then I'm going to go in here and highlight. All <coughs> What I'm going to do is undo that move. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to highlight all of this except for that. I'm going to copy it. And we're going to rotate it. So this is how it looks like the back part is. And then it looks like they just connected it in to fit. How do I want to do this? I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna line it up and then I'm gonna delete that piece. And then we're gonna scoot everything over. Although I may be mad at myself because this may cause my least favorite thing the arrow issue. Okay, put that down get rid of one of those because I don't need two. Exit the group. Yeah, it does. So relative to world axis, it's not happy. Okay. Why? 
Why is that always such a thing? It drives me bonkers. Okay. What I want then is just this part of the group. No, Ruby. No, actually, I, I want all of this over here. I do not want this. I do not want this, this, this. Or this. And I'm going to scoot it all over to the back. So, control X, go back some. No, I'm. Ah! I'll move this part first. Decisions. I'm going to scoot this back so it's not in my vending machines. There we go. Like that. And I want all of this. Scoot this back so they meet. And I'm going to split them from each other. Okay, so this looks like... I guess I'll just make it neat. So I'm going to go put this back where I had it, next to the trash can. And then I'm going to grab this guy, and I'm going to rotate it. One, two, three, four. Bring it over here. Make sure it matches. And scoot it back just a little bit. Right there. And then I may just so see this might fit. Let's see what happens. It almost did. There we go. Well, mine's just a little bit different, and that's okay. And then they have mesh on it. Like, why? I don't think I'm gonna put mesh on it, and I don't think I'm gonna put cross beams on it either. I don't like mine. Okay, now time for the top. Like, what's going on up there? I think Google Earth is just struggling to render it. It looks flat. And, like it just has beams to hold that up there. Okay. Oops, no, that's not what I want to do. Control X, except I want... Uh, we'll go for four meters, see if it fits. And if it doesn't, that's okay. It's supposed to hang off a little bit. So, let's bring this in line. Let's go like that. And of course, one side's higher than the other. Go me. So let's grab this one. Let's give it a little nudge. Oh, excuse you. Let me get a little closer. And just nudge down. No, I want to nudge. Nudge! Right there. Okay. Thank you for straight arrows. Thank you, Nubu. All these little zoo recreations I do, my workshop's going to be fill filled with little sun shades. Because <laughs> I always will put them up there. I guess I can scoot the whole thing over a little bit because it seems like it's not quite... I'll do that when I'm done with it. Alright, um... I need to do the top part. Look 
looking at how they have it done. I need the little thin ones. Where are they? So I have six meters, four meters. All right, we're gonna go with four. Is that the thinnest option I have? What does this look like? I like that. If I change the color, will it match? It does. Okay. Um, please snap yourself. Thank you. It doesn't look like... Okay, so they kind of go... Like from here-ish. These are still super thick. Is that like the... Th yeah, that's about the thinnest I'm going to get, I think. Alright, we'll put that there. And this one does have an 8 meter piece, but I think 8 meters is going to be way too big. Like, why can't I have a 6 meter on this? Yeah, I think that's way too big, but we're going to give it a, see what it looks like. Ah, yeah, that's, that's too large. Alright, 4 meters, it is. line it up in here so let's give it a nudge back bring it right there um, I don't actually bring this to where it covers I think do it like this there we go right there and then I need this to be Maybe about here. It's so hard to tell. Let's see. Nope, a little further. Oh, excuse me, mouse. About right there, I think. All right, let's set that down. Let's grab this piece. Once I have the square made, I'm gonna align it a little better. Let's get closer where I can see. Right there. Huh? I think I, I nailed it. Alright, I just will need to shift the whole... Oh! Sorry about that. Please give me good arrows. Thank you. Thank you, game, for behaving. There we go, right there. And then I want this, 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 and I want to... Oh! Forget you, game forget you. Why? Why would you give me arrows like that? These arrows do me no good. I'm just going to hit that over and over and over again in frustration. Okay, so that means what I have to do is grab these and nudge them. That looks about right. And then grab these and nudge them because you know the game's gonna be stupid because I'm not on the world axis okay that looks even to me I like that Why is one higher than the other? That's interesting. I'm gonna go back and nudge it. This one seems to be, it's really interesting why some are, oh well, nobody's going to look at it from the top. I'm not going to get that. Okay, so what I want to do is, 
I want all of these things. So exit. I. Uh, oh goodness, Ruby. All right, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, so that's attached. We're all in one group. Merge. And now I'm gonna scoot it all over a little bit. There we go. I think that came out really cute. All right, I do need to fix that. That's bothering me. So let's go in because I don't want all those corners poking out. X. All right, let's see, right there. And then. Yes. It... Nudge, please. Like, just yeah, right, right there is good. Thank you. Let's go look at the other side. Okay, that looks fine to me. Exit. 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 Let go of that. Thank you. I'm super happy with how that came out. I think it's cute. He's super cute. do is I don't want that in there. We're going to go ahead and excuse me little penny thing because I didn't fully make you. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is shop make new blueprint um how should I take the picture for the... Let's see. I can do it from low or high. I guess I probably should have moved the sun. Let's do that. Let's move the sun. There we go. Blueprint. Yeah, that's better. Name my blueprint. This is a vending machine or bench sun shade. I'll have to fix it on the workshop because it won't let me fit everything here. So, I'll just take out or bench shade item description. Um, it's an other. It's not really scenes, it's not really statues, it's not really nature, it's kind of other scenery, I guess. And then we'll go way down here to the bottom. It's an other building. It doesn't get a species tag. Create blueprint. Alright, so I will throw that up there right now, but I won't make it visible just yet until I can go get all that other stuff figured out. But that way it's there and I'll remember to do it. So shade, upload, new workshop item, create, and I'll go fix everything in a little bit. So you guys, if you want it, you can have it. Return to game. Alrighty guys, I think that this is where I'm going to give my stream an end. Thank you for bearing with me while we struggled to get the... Uh, entrance actually working so welcoming bisons to our entrance we're taking some creative liberty and putting them right here because that's not what's there but anyway um 
I have a feeling it's going to take a number of streams to finish this project of my entrance here because I still have rock work to do out here. I still have decorating to do out here. I need to roof this, which I may do the roof off stream at some point, but I'm not sure. And then we're going to do that water feature over here. And I'm also going to do some interior stuff just to make this look a little cleaner before I roof it off. So I'm not sure if I'll do that in stream or not. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. I had a super fun time. I hope you did too. And may the RNG odds be ever in your favor. Have a good Saturday, guys. Love you too. Bye, Nubu girl.